I've been using this program called Wine Launcher Creator to make, uh, you know, launchers for my uh, wine apps and wine games and all that, or your Windows games, basically. Anyways, um, what you need to install is the Wine Launcher Creator. Uh, you can get this from their website; it's just a dev file, right? Other things you need is your your your, your Python install. So sometimes you have to install the newer version of the Python. Like for example, I have 2.6 here. But if this program doesn't work, try installing like a newer version like 2.7, 2.8, or 3.0 or something like that. Uh, and that's how you, you know you make it work, I guess. Uh, other things is you need this thing called the ICO utils. What this program does is extract the ICO files uh, from the EXE itself, and um, you're gonna use that image with uh, Image Magic. And uh, Image Magic will do is uh, convert the ICO files to PNG. It'll do this automatically, but I'm just trying to explain you the process, okay? And uh, you need uh, one or the other, okay? You either need Nautilus Actions or Nautilus Script Manager. You don't need both, okay? You just need one or the other. Um, it's up to you. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyways, after you have that installed, you need to. Um, let me see. Plus that terminal. You need to run uh, this command. Install, was it Wine Launcher Creator? If you're using Nautilus Actions, then you type in Actions at the end here. If you're using that script, uh, then you type in Script. Okay. So like I said, if you install one or the other, then you just run those commands that I just tell you. Okay. That applies for you. Anyways, how this one works is if I open my my wine games or my windows games here or it can, e it can be applications too if you want so for example if I do uh, StarCraft and uh, I go to the EXE and I say I want to make a launcher for this all you gotta do is right click on it and if you're using the Nautilus Actions it will show up right here if you're using the Nautilus Script Manager it will show up in your Script Manager right? It's the same thing, it's just at different places, um, but it'll add it to your right click command, right? Now, in here you have the spaceship, which is these are like ICO files, and these two other images right here. This is from, uh, you know, within the directory right here, uh, and it has to be PNG files, it cannot be JPEGs or any of the other ones. PNGs, okay? Now, these are ICO files, but when it extracts it, it will convert to PNG. And uh, let's say, for example, I do this now. I want to use this image, and I want to give this, uh, you know, StarCraft and Brood War here. And I put Create Launcher, and I'll create it in my desktop here. Uh, if I want to use this image, all right, I can just uh, give it a different name, like StarCraft One and Create Launcher, and I'll use that one. Basically, that's what they got. Uh, these path up here you don't have to do nothing it'll fill it automatically in the settings here you can actually do uh, you know a wine command you can do like different preferences and everything and here to show you the default uh, you know where the launcher goes to to our desktop right and the images will go into our home folder dot icons right that's where it goes to now if you want to make like changes like to this uh, you can do it in, uh, let me see, your home folder and dot config. Uh, what else is there? Wine, I mean, WL creator here. This is where you make like, um, you know, changes to it if you want to use different settings for it. So you can see that it has the same thing that I just showed you. But here, if you just edit out to a different path or something, or a different wine a command, like a different wine prefix, then you can do that. But that's how that works. Um, sometimes it doesn't always work with all the EXEs. You know, if you do this, sometimes it doesn't show you any icons or anything like that. Um, but if that happens, just make it yourself manually that you've done on Linux, uh, you know, for the past uh, years. But this one is really convenient if it does work. 90% of the time it does work, so it's all good. Anyways, go use it. Uh, highly recommend it if you have Wine and Windows apps and all that. Uh, that's it for this one.